Thursday, July 28th, uh, eBay, 325. That's what 325 looks like on eBay. Looks like there's five castles in there. These Futurons will sold for over 20 bucks each, so that's, uh, they're getting harder and harder to find. And it looks like there's like six clone pilots in this one. What it looks like in one sports card. JJ Watt rookie card. All right. What do we got going on? Thirteen on Bricklink, seven on Brickall. I'm gonna fall on the fall on the floor from that one. Seven orders on Brickall. What is happening? I bet they all came in in the same few hours span. There's this uh, conspiracy that Brickall sometimes promotes stores, and that's how you get sales. I don't know. It is so hit or miss, it's crazy. That's the most I've had on Brickell in months, I think, in one day. But it's only 41 lots. <laughs> but it's $101, so that's still good. So look at this. This is where I want to be, $500 a day when I do orders. So 20 orders in the last 24 hours. I want to be at one order per hour. So this is actually very, very good. You know, I know smaller stores might think Five orders on a hundred dollars is very, very good for them. That's that's where I used to be. Um, you know, I turned it into a full-time job, <laughs> so it's a lot of work. That's all I can. That's all I got to say about it. This first order is already packed up. Some of those adding uh, different uh, batches, so it's already on the table over there at my table. That's full of stuff. <laughs> so I got to get this get this going. Two hundred thirty-five lots is not that bad. So. I should have this done by about 7.30. Alright, so Brick Owl is number 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, and then it went 12, and then 19, so all these were like really bunched up together. Weird how that happens. Order number 17. Thanks, you're very welcome. It's been taken down. The last space bar to clear it. From a fellow Brickling seller. I followed the channel. Thank you so much. Alright. Final order. It, this actually came in like two minutes before I ran the program. <laughs> I just noticed that. So it's the biggest one. Uh, I mean, the most uh, in depth. 40, 40 lots, 1200 items. So, yeah. Lots of counting going on here, so this will take me a little bit. We'll get it done by 7.30. Alright. There's the order. It's like, I think every piece is a plate. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, 7.22 now. Lots of counting. I don't see anything that's not a plate in here, so... There's one big thing. I'll put all the bags into that. And this is definitely a priority something, so... Nice. Alright, so this is gonna do these are the right ones. Oh yeah. I just ordered some more of these regional rate box A. It's going to Minnesota, so there's the new ones I just got. I use these a lot. Even to California I think the highest rate is just about ten dollars, but this will be like eight dollars maybe. And it should fit in there. It's gotta I think it'll fit. Test it out. Oh yeah, that fits. All right, we took some time when I lit up the chickens. It was a nice day. Whoa, 748 a mile, 28.85. And I'm time for breakfast. And I'll have a smoothie. My wife makes me every day for second breakfast. All right, I got my video two of three uploading. It's now 9:30. Breakfast is done, so I got to get this scale out of the way. I, lo I love that I decided to do this. 
I just felt like it helped keep it level, number one. I mean, I don't know if that's actually level there, but... Um, and I can set it on top of drawers instead of it. It's got four feet. It would actually be really weird if it wasn't on there. But anyway, hopefully I'm going to get this done in about four hours is my hope. Or it's actually maybe less. I mean, there's not that much out here. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm, if I have two hours of work time left, I'm going to go after the feet. Um, so it's going to... These are the ones that wouldn't fit in my drawer over there, so I'm going to get those uploaded. I don't need any more, but, you know... Get going. I'm not even going to put drawers out at this point. I'll do it for the feet probably, but I just don't have room for it. And I just, you know, quickly grab the part, drop it in, U869, type it in, keep moving. My next wish list item is like one of those soft top stools with the wheels on it, like doctors have that go up and down. It would be so much nicer to wheel away, wheel over, wheel back. Bricklink store dreams. Alright, here's a complete view of the setup. Wireless keyboard and mouse. I don't use the keyboard up there, I just use the screen. I have my uh, light here again. Because, you know, these, if you squint enough or like really look at it for a while, you can you can pretty much read it. Um, but I just don't like to struggle, I just have this. So, 98571. I don't know if you can, no, the screen isn't picking it up too well. But I can see it in my eye, so that's how we do it, just one by one. Um, so, like, would I use Brickstore for everything? Definitely not. Like, I don't know, if there's five of one item, I might do it because the colors are easier to add. But this is just, you know, you just do this. You don't have to pick a color, you just add to inventory. You can pick it right here. This only comes in four colors. So we only have one lime, and I use the price guide button here to yes. not tell me what to price at 71 cents. So with my sale, I'll go about 80 cents. So it'll go just below that, and I'll put it in U303. So it's 0303 to make sure it comes up in order. Now I have it always set to use as a default, unless I'm doing a bunch of new stuff at the same time, then I'll change it for the time being. And that is uploaded. That same part in a different color. We're going black. Looks like there's two black and then five of the pearl dark grays. So we'll do this one in uh, 189. So two. Let's see. That first one was a good price already. Let's see what these ones are. I think the black are better. But they're not. They're 56. I mean, they're just less rare so they're not as much so any brick store could definitely be faster um, just I don't want to use up my table and use the space <clears throat> the thing is I I already know I don't have pretty much all these parts in my store so the only reason I wouldn't use brick store is because of that or be because I have a bunch in my store that I gotta you know bring in that um, bring in the information there's this, this uh, copy values from document option I wish Brickstore had an option where it would automatically, when you pull a part in, if you have it, you can set it to add remarks from your store, from you know, from another file that's open in here. That would be pretty cool. But either way, um, we have five of those. It should be less because they're, yeah, 40 cents. There's more. There seems like there's more of them. So, and then we get these put away, and I'm just, and we're cruising. You know, that's how you do it. You just keep on pushing through, and eventually. Um, everything I'm talking about doing this, I'm probably going to make a mistake, but add, so one empty drawer. Keep going. Garden harvest. Not from us. <laughs> uh, my wife's uh, grandparents dropped it by Colorado. He said these are good for the chickens. Fry that up. All right, now I clear off some room. I'm starting to build up, build out some little smaller files. So this is 28 parts, so... My first step is now they got them all in there is to check my inventory. Make sure I don't have any in my store. Which I have just this white one apparently. In drawer 76. So I don't know if I want to put these other ones in there. There's at least two of them. I think they'll fit. So we'll at least get those out of the way. And then all the rest need their own spots. So 
And then I just want to see the value is. It's always fun to make an clip, see the value. So close to 16 bucks on the table there. All right, here's my next file build out. It's starting to get diminished. Like this is just individual stuff, so this doesn't even apply to all this. So it's just this that's left. So again, through it. 11:45. I have stuff on top of stuff there, though. It goes pretty quick, though. This was one, two, three. This is four of those four bins. So, and not all of them are like this. These are kind of more labor intensive. I mean, not, not crazy at all, but a little more. Some of these have printing and stuff. But most of these arms and limbs things are really quick. But this is, this is actually a good, good one. 33 lots and $54. I only had one in my inventory. Which one was it? 461. It's these ones. fit before I throw them in there. Oh yeah, so a couple in there. Apparently these are the rare money makers. I think these are the disc throwers or the arms for those figures that have those discs. I don't even know, but the medium blue sells for seven. The uh, t the white goes for 620 and the tan 610. So yeah, it's good stuff. I want to say pearl sand blue used to be the metallic blue because I'm pretty sure that was a recent change that was in the newsletter that came out. All right, more and more lots. Here's the next batch. Some quantity there and some quantity there, and that's all that's left in this little spot. It's going down. This was a. Uh, 41 lots, 252 items. Let's price it out while we're clipping it. And 48 bucks. Any any big hitters? Dollar 91 for these greens. I have two of them. Three dollars and fifty for 25 cents for that. Dollar 60 for that one. That's it. That's just a quantity of things. This just adds up. Alright, this batch, this one had some variants on these parts, there's some that don't have the lines, and then the ones that don't have the lines either have a closed axle holder or an open axle holder, so there's all kinds of variants in this world. It's getting smaller, there's the ones I just emptied now. And that batch was all brand new, uh, 42 lots, 38 more bucks, 233 items. Awesome. I'm gonna work on this one-off. There's one or two of some things. Got some of these. Three of those. Got one of these. I just forget how to look that up, but I think this is just a mask. I don't know why I just got in here, but I'll list it either way because I don't think there's any more of those. If there is, no big deal. I don't have no idea what this is as a part number, so otherwise I would have got rid of it. Um, and I just pulled over the small drawers that were on the, on the end of the table over there and Made it look a little more uh, manageable now. That's all that's left. I gotta take a break for lunch after I do this this line of stuff. All right, we got 42 more lots on the table. Just keep adding the lots. And I had six of them in this already. So and uh, 58 there. That's that is a very good number. I don't know. There's any oh five dollars for this one pearl gold I only have one of them so that is yeah it goes for 476 so that's that's a big ticket item there for what it is yeah that looks like about it for the high dollar values all right 30 more lots on the table and uh quitting it's at about three well after three so let's get in there let's get these remark codes set into the wall, 154 items are all new to the store. 21 bucks, very low cost one here. I think this one is like two bucks. Not sure what it goes to, but that's it. All right, next batch of 41 lots has been built in the brick store. And uh, so 222 items, 28 bucks. 
nothing special here I don't think but um yeah keep on going <laughs> gotta find space for all this stuff just been jamming these drawers that was not so bad I'm just I'm putting like one and ones and twos like in regular drawers with minifig parts even if there's room you know I don't have a thing I can't put anything in with the minifig but I haven't even gotten to this part yet so I'm putting them in here and then I haven't really used too much back here I've been throwing some things in but I, have, I haven't thrown in much down here yet. I guess not there and there, not here, nothing there. So I'll get those ready. All right, another clip like this. It's the final upload of the day. We have 46. I think it's the most I've had. So um, this is what I'm not going to get to. I did one of them or two different ones, but uh, I was trying not to put too many of the same things on the table. Um, but how I do it, you know, this is the first part in brick store, and then it goes to the end of the line, the next line, the next line. So we have 46. Lots, 204 more items, and how many more dollars will we be adding? Well, 35 more. So check the final numbers when I put this all away. So we're getting close to 251. I'm supposed to be done at 3. So we've got to rush. All right, about to hit the last upload button of the day. Let's make sure everything doesn't say I already had any because this is all new lots. 47 new lots here again. Somebody sent me a message. 389 lots I added today. Wow. I don't think I hit. Oh, I did hit 13,000. Wow. That's a landmark moment right there. Never done that before. 436,819 items. So I better boast about that. You know how we do it. Anyway, um, did not get these. But tomorrow, Friday, uh, I'll be working a full day. So, we'll definitely get those. And my hope is to get through this. This shouldn't take too long. This is all like pretty much single stuff that needs to be taken apart. Um, some damaged stuff. And then, uh, so my son finished up this one today. Well, there's, there's pieces missing, obviously. But all the pages are here for me to quickly go through and... Uh, knock them down or put them on my wanted list for what's what's not there and then this one still needs some work we'll have them do this one to finish this one up tomorrow exciting stuff and then yeah so i'm gonna work on the feet not everything in here is feet i just put whatever i thought looked like a foot so it's all in the same spot at least doesn't matter if it's a foot or not it's just that they're all sorted together um, don't know if that's a foot. Don't believe it's a foot. But anyway, that one will go. Body armor, bodies and armor, weapons. Like I, just, I, I literally uploaded the least valuable stuff today. Those are all masks. So the rest from here, I, I, maybe feet are less. Actually, feet are probably the least valuable. So I'm going after the next least valuable, and then the more expensive stuff. I guess it's the weapon, the mask. That's probably not. But it's it's happening. It's very nice. All right, it is Friday morning. Just got done pulling the eBay orders. Doesn't look like too much. So okay. This one's going to Mexico. Insured. And um, there's the dollar amount value. Just a reminder to keep my focus somewhere. I need to keep it. I've been focusing way too much on Bricklink with all the vinyl stuff this week. Alright. Bricklink and Brickout orders. 9 to 1. It's a lopsided baseball game. But we went to a baseball game last night in Green Bay. The Green Bay Rockers versus the Fond du Lac Dock Spiders. And we left. We left after the 6th inning. It was 4 to 3. Fond Lac was winning. Didn't find out who won. But this is uh, 91 lots for $177. A big contrast to yesterday. I'm glad eBay picked me up for today. So and this will be pretty quick and painless. It's like all day. I didn't get any brick out. And then finally the last might have been even this morning. Or early, early last night. It's my last order that came in. These all come in by the order at the time they came in. So parts get pulled that way. Alright. 
Let's get this done and then what do I gotta do today? Oh, finish up the bionicle. Oh, my, my priorities are photographing all this stuff. I turn off my light already. But I gotta do that. Oh, I turn off my light, I can to keep it on, but anyway, get to work. Alright, all ten orders ready to go. That sure happened to Lloyd. Lift up his dress. Anyway, I also have to verify those sets should be all complete. One, two, three, four. I thought the Indian one was complete, um, but I knew it was complete because the base plate wasn't there, but I just got in the mail yesterday. So, there's the mail over there. Alright, I know I said I had to start on eBay, but before I do that, I'm going to finish this job and then those four sets. Is it four? Yeah, it's four. Um, I'm going to verify those and then be done with the BrickLink stuff and just focus on eBay the most the rest of the day. If I get done with that early enough, then I will uh, start on some more Bionicle. So, let's get this done. Alright, this is all uploaded or uh, in the Brickstore file. i got to put it in the remarks and put it away, but some good stuff here. There's some uh, stragglers that shouldn't have been in this one that didn't make it to the original one. I guess I can probably quickly put those away. It's nothing crazy, so there's two of that one and then three of that size. I just got to pull that up and then it'll show me in BrickLink all the colors I have. And yeah, some cool stuff, especially this Milwaukee marker. You can't call it a Sharpie because it's Sharpie is a brand. I was reminded of that by someone. Um, I'm never thinking that kind of stuff. I just go. Don't think, just sell. Uh, anyway, um, so I get these put up, and this is uh, 38 lots, and only I saw three of them I have in my store already. So I was like, I didn't get a chance to get a photo of my 13,000 lots yesterday, so we'll get back over it in the next 10 minutes when I get this all completed. All right, I think it's Rock Refuge. The so missing one piece, I didn't see it circled so my daughter did for me but she did really well um, it's a couple extra because I already had the can to put together this was in dark gray but it should have been light gray and then there's extra seven of those she did that one twice but um, I had to go grab one thing I can't remember what it was but either way I just gotta get that piece and I won't double verify it again hot um, once I get it I know it's complete so it's on the wanted list. Alright, that one is confirmed complete. And I took a picture of the instructions to put on the front of this box. And add to my pile. Alright, this bad boy. This had the wrong piece in there. It was one that didn't have studs on top. And the pin was on the top. So it's a six cent piece. <laughs> I didn't really look for it, but I might have it. So need a bigger box. This is going to BrickLink. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I need a bigger box for the instructions and the TP. Alright, last one's pretty easy. It's just one sheet. This one. Alright, this set is deemed to be complete. I'm gonna photograph it and make a box with that one and for this one right now and then be done for all this stuff. And I gotta meet with Ralph. Say hi. See if you he can help me something. And uh, go on with the day. Finished product. Kind of made that label a little too long, but it still fit. Got the label on each side. I did have to fold the instructions. I already had a crease. I think that's how they come in the set, but I don't like to have to fold the instructions. It's just, just a little too long for this box, but no big deal. Looking like a nice lineup of sets. We are officially off of Brick Packer and on Brick Sink. We had a nice meeting with Ralph. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Feels good. So I had to bring my microphone over because he said he could hear my computer running in the hard drive all. <laughs> so 
I just uh, hooked this up under there. If you do another brick separator, you didn't get to talk about it. I forgot to mention it, but I'll do it from right here. It's a good spot. All right, just got a brick out order, and I'm going to wait for the brick sink to take it because I see this one went down to zero. So that's what I'm going to use as my uh, guinea pig part, which is right here. It has six still, but it should be zero. It is 11:40 a.m. I'm watching my screen over there to see when it. Uh, Updates where Ralph did mention. Sometimes you gotta hit enter. Make sure it's still running. Yep. If it says something's held up, then it's not running. So it should run it every five minutes. It should try to fetch the brick owl orders and the brick link order. See how it's a fetching the brick link, fetching the brick owl. Oh, there it goes. It's starting the process right now. We encountered an update. There it goes. 24 lots. Updating 24 lots for penny for updates. I guess that it that should have sent it just now to uh, I'm glad I got that right on camera. Should have sent it right to Bricklink um, and it's gone. I F5'd it. Took it right off. Perfection. Alright, going through Bricklink orders. Baby Jack Jack. Great condition. Just great. Oh yeah, it's great condition, nothing wrong with that. Anyway, yeah, and then I had one shield that for two dollars, I'm not paying for that. That is not acceptable. Anyway, so I had to ask for a refund on this one. This is the, the base plates I got for the Indian. And it does also say great condition, but there's marks all over them, so yeah. It's frustrating. All right, it is Friday at uh, 3:25 p.m. Just got done. Got through some mail, some Brooklyn orders. I'm not sure about how much I showed, but just relisted all my solds and uh, bricks. Brick sink is working good. Keep checking on it as orders come through. It really works perfect. So uh, let's just see Lego category. Let's see if we can get some. Uh, information on our listings 1881 nice all right no action footage of the photos but we got it done just a little bit late gotta take that off load can't even see the clock it's 407 so put this back on the shelf still debating about this back side of this shelf if I should I think I would have to make it shoe boxes maybe I'll have like just the top row not shoe boxes just uh, random stuff I mean these are just lids that don't need to be here never use them probably I don't want to get rid of them but I don't know where all those containers actually are I guess <laughs> somewhere here anyway until Saturday all the photos are uploaded we'll probably get this done Monday afternoon alright look at that Pickling uh, mixture there. Seven jars ready here, and probably get 11, maybe 11 jars. All right, Saturday morning. Got the eBay items pulled. Better than yesterday. I mean, a lot of high ticket items here. Okay, I wouldn't call them high ticket, but oh, this is an $88 football card. Patrick Mahomes rookie. Sold for 88 bucks. That was one of them. Just saw in general Craniacs in there from Space Police. That's a rare figure. Sold for like 40 bucks. Um, a couple more sports cards. So, sold uh, another book here for 40 bucks. I got from the library. So the third one I sold, I think. Um, the first one was like 80. The second one was in the 30s, and that was in 40. Uh, Viewmasters. The so I, both of you master lots I put up are sold now. So let's see what book this is. Okay, here we go. Drawings by C. D. Gibson. Some people, someone, or some of you were interested in the book. So there you go. That's me taking photos outside. I took my uh, putting green out onto my <laughs> onto my uh, picnic table, but. 
yeah, those books are doing good. Don't have too many left. It doesn't seem like I have too many left, but uh, there's a pile back there. All right, let's check out the Bricklink and Brick Owl. eBay took me a bit. It's 10 after 6. I had to get my coffee break here. So July 30th it is. 9 on Bricklink, 4 on Brick Owl. Brick Owl's been doing actually surprisingly well uh, for what it's been. But uh, So at 289 which I'll take it. Definitely 13 orders, 200 lots. Let's get this thing done. I'm going to an auction today, a real live auction as a family to uh, experience that. We've been to one 10 years ago. I think when we first moved to the area, maybe it was 11 or 12, 12 years ago, I think now, actually. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, let's see, 24 lots on Brick Owl, and then 57, that's not a bad one, 280 and 57 lots. That's the final one that came in, so shouldn't be too bad. It's happened, my first, uh, Bionicle order of stuff I just uploaded. It's like literally everything in this order is that because it starts the first part, it's U74 drawer, so everything is used and it's starting to pay off. $16 order for that 30 plus hours plus I paid for another like 12 hours of help to do this. It's all coming back slowly it will we'll keep going when will uh, it ever uh, slow down I don't know this is my cousin uh, Mike Mike Moody music he's the lead guitarist of Max Saturn he writes this is wild right after a sold out show in NYC we were asked to open up for journey next week it's awesome Order number five is a message. It's awesome. Uh, customer I had in Green Bay. I've had for many years. Comes to the mall, so awesome. Need some dog bones. All right, order number thirteen. We're done. The final uh, whatever fifteen lots were used all except this one plate were from the Bionicle upload I did. So. And then a bunch of pieces. So I got a hard stop at 8.30 this morning, so less than an hour. So I get this all out and then rebuild some stuff for eBay as best I can. And I'll come back when we get, we get back from the auction later. Do a couple of things. I had a question about what do we do with all the jars? There you go. Made some beads. Don't know if we'll can anything else. Usually do use uh, applesauce. But there may be something with tomatoes. Don't know. Alright, I was going to take my camera to the auction, but I forgot. That's alright. We're only for there for like an hour after it started. But we were there a half hour earlier. This is a prize a jersey for 10 bucks. And this we're going to leave, so I want to bid on something. Got some tins for 10 bucks. Planters, peanuts. Nothing I really wanted, but scotch cellulose tape. There's empty tins. And this, and a tobacco barrel. It's plastic, that's tin, but this is awesome. This is in great shape. They had a Michael Jordan one, but they sold it with a hand carved bulls painted sign. It was an amazing sign. I wanted for like 80 bucks. I didn't bid on that. Didn't really want to deal with the sign, but very nice here. All right, I was just curious about this uh, El Dorado's Fortress or whatever it's called. When, it, when I first put it together, I talked about it in a previous video recently, of July 11, 2018, and then I had it for sale on eBay. I wish I wouldn't have copied the eBay listing so that you, the photos go away. This is what I actually took and posted. Um, but uh, this is what I this is my start, Shano Flea Market. I met someone at Bay Beach that met me there this year in 2018. He remembers coming to my booth calling his son. That was displaying next to me that had that Star Wars setup. Um, that's what it used to look like. Uh, what else is in here that's cool? I had got that set before, had that completed. I had it done display for a little while. Oh, the coolest thing I wanted to show is this. This is the first ever project I ever did down here. And see, there's that, that door right there. It was like that. 
and that's what it looks like now over there that's the first ever thing I ever did and then that was the second this whole wall <laughs> Thank you.